So this is our model that we have built. The, we're going to, this is a, a static model. It's a one hour, it's a static model. It's just for one hour. This is the design for one hour. But we're going to run this model for say for 72 hours. And we're also going to check, create a time pattern on how to, um, how to, how to run this model beyond one hour and to run it based on changing conditions. In our material, in our manual, if you want to see um, how this is done, you go to page six on adding a time pattern. So let's, let us add a time pattern. So to add a time pattern, I'll come to my browser. I'll go to pattern. I'll click on pattern. It will open and it will blank. I'll come to this icon and I'll say add. It will add time pattern one. Now I'm going to create what I call six hourly pattern. Get me right. Six hourly pattern. They are at 24 hours in the day. So if I decide, if I if I divide it to four, it will be six hourly. So for the first hour is what the first section, I will say 0 0.5. This 0 0.5 represents midnight from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. That's the first six hours. Let the system be performing at 50% load. The second pattern is between 6 a.m. and 12 in the afternoon. I'll say, let there be a 30% increase in the load on the network, and that is 1.3. Then between the hour of 12 noon to 6 p.m., let the system be normal, which is 1.0. And then from 6 p.m. to the next 12 p.m., 12 midnight, let the system be performing a 20% increase. So this is what the time pattern is. This is a six hourly time pattern. Six hourly time pattern. Please take note. Six hourly time pattern. <clears throat> so this is the first six hours, second six hours, fourth six hours, and fourth six hours. So this means people are, this is, the, this is now the baseline. So in the midnight, people are not drinking water. People are not using too much of water. And this is about half of it. In the morning hours, there's, an ink, there's a peak. The, the water will peak, the water demand will peak. So I provided 30% extra above this line. And in the afternoon, people are coming back from work. People are returning from school, going for school runs, are coming back. Others are going to work and they're just a mixed. There's no more difference, so I put one. So this is the time pattern. And remember, this is the pattern ID. I will say, okay. So I have created the time pattern. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change. I'm, not, I'm going to simulate now. To simulate, I'll go to patterns. I'll go to options. Under options, I'll go to times. Pattern, I'll go to times. Under options, I'll go to times. I will edit the time, simulation time. Something like this will open. I'll scroll to the beginning. Total duration. How long do I want to run this pattern? Let's say 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Or let's do, use what is in the manual, 72 hours. 72 hours means three days. He say hydraulic step time. I will leave it there. Pattern step time. What is the pattern step time? I will put six. In other words, the pattern is changing every six hours. That's why you see four sections. That's why you see those four sections. And th these are the only two things I'm going to change here. Pattern, step, pattern time step and the duration. I'll press enter. What do I do next? I will come and run my network. And my network is successful. I'll say, okay. To appear, nothing has happened. But go to map now. When you go to map, you see that there's something like a radio button has come out in, the, in, the, in here. And it is giving you time now. So if I now go come here and I click play forward, watch me now. Watch what will happen now. I click play forward now. This place is changing. This time now, you see this three, four. If you look at it here, it's also changing. And the value and the variables here are changing. So this is now showing me 4 p.m. day one, 6 p.m., 8 p.m. day one, 10 p.m. day one, 12 noon. It has entered day two. Four, five, six. So it is now running a simulated time pattern. Now, if you want to see, the, I'll pause it. If you want to see the results now, the report of this now to understand what has happened, 
I will go to report and I'll say, give me a full report. On that full report, I'll save it on my desktop. Let me save, let me save, let me let me save it as report one. I'll click enter. I've, I've generated my report. To view my report, what do I do? I'll go to that desktop now. This is report one. I'll right click on it. Remember what I said, you right click on it. I'll say open, open with. On that open with, I'll you choose Microsoft Word. I'll choose Microsoft Word to open it. And the report of the 72 hour simulation is going to show up. So this is the report. It says Apernet hydraulic water quality analysis for pipe network, 6th of February, 2021, 5.06 PM. I will scroll down. You will see all the nodes. All this is the length of the diameter. This is the length, this is the diameter. Then it's giving me other results. It will give me the, the demand, the head, the pressure, and the quality. Unfortunately, we didn't design quality. The quality, the flow, the velocity, the head loss. It will give me the other parameters that I didn't see. The, meanwhile, how many pages are, is this? This is about uh, 50 pages. So I'm just imagine. So this is the report, the, the page or the report that I'm going to, um, I'm going to save and then um, send it to my clients. So once again, remember what we did? I went to data browser. I had to first of all, go to pattern. Under pattern, I say add. When it added, I say the, for the first pattern, function at 50%. For the second one, increase by 30%. For the third one, no increase. Remember where you are. The fourth one, increase by 20%. And I have something like this. And I saved it. And I click OK. Then I came again here and I said, I need options to simulate. Under options, I went to times. And other times, I simulated it for, let's say, 72 hours. But let me change it to 48 hours. And uh, this is this. And then after doing this, I just come here and I'll run. It's still running with pattern one. So this is it. So you can then to do the report, you go to project and uh, report. You see full report. And you put report one. In this case, let me just say report two. You press enter. Okay. And then you go to your desktop and you right click. And the report will show up in Microsoft Word. So that demonstrates how to run an extended simulation and view report of an Ethernet, um, um, how to run an extended simulation and how to, view, to generate a report 